So last week I came out with a video where I did 10 product rule problems as quickly as I can. Well today I wanted to slow things down a little bit. So I wanted to show you step by step how to use the product rule formula in order to find the derivative of a function using the product rule. And not only that, I wanted to really point out and make it really easy for you to remember what the product rule formula is and the steps on how to apply it. So today I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So be sure to stick around to the end so you can keep these things in your mind and easily apply the product rule to find the derivative of a function whenever you need to. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right on into the example. So like I said in the intro, we're going to be talking today a bit about the product rule. So I started by just simply writing what the product rule says here on the screen. Um, so you can see the product rule is basically just a formula that tells you how to find the derivative of uh, a function that is the product of two simpler functions, basically. So for any function that you can write as f times g, basically break it down into the product of two simpler functions, you can find the derivative of that whole thing by using this formula. And basically what you want to keep in mind is you maybe have seen the product rule formula in slightly different forms or slightly different variations of this formula because what you want to keep in mind is multiplying two things it doesn't care what order that's happening in so what i mean by that is f prime times g is the same as g times f prime and similarly over here f times g prime is the same as g prime times f so that if you switch the order of those two it doesn't make a difference in what it actually is equal to and similarly addition is the same way if you have f prime times g plus f times g prime that's the same as f times g prime plus f prime times g so basically there's you know, a bunch of different forms that you could write this same formula in. The key is that you're multiplying the derivative of one thing times the original of the other thing, and then adding in the original of the first thing times the derivative of the second thing. So theoretically, we could also write this as g prime times f plus f prime times g. It really doesn't matter as long as you're kind of cross multiplying those. So let me show you what I mean by this by showing you an example. So let's say we have some function y equals ln of x times sine of x. Clearly, this is already in the form of one function times another function. It's very easy to see how we could apply product rule here. And again, it because the multiplication order could be switched and it doesn't actually change its value, it doesn't really matter if we want to call ln of x our function f and sine of x our function g, or we could call ln of x g and sine of x f. It doesn't really make a difference. All that's important is that you're looking at this as the product of two separate pieces. And as long as you call one of those pieces that is part of the product f and the other part of your product piece g, it's going to end up working out. So we've called f ln of x in this case, and we've called g sine of x in this case. Then what you need to do is find the derivative of each of these smaller pieces on their own. So basically we're just going to find f prime, which is just the derivative of natural log x, which is one over x. And then we need to find g prime, which is just the derivative of g, which is sine x. The derivative of sine of x is cosine x. So once you've figured out your f prime, your g prime, all you have to do is think about multiplying the diagonals of these two things. So multiply f times g prime, multiply f prime times g, and then add those two things up. So again, it doesn't matter what order you do this. We could do one times x or one over x times sine of x first, and then add on ln of x times cosine x. Or we could do cosine x times ln of x, and then add on sine of x times one over x. These two things are equivalent because again, the order of multipl multiplication doesn't matter and the order of addition doesn't matter. However, you do need to keep in mind if you're trying to simplify these derivative functions, order of operations does matter. So the order of whether you do multiplication first or addition first, that matters, but the order of doing a times b is the same as b times a. So you can switch these individual things being multiplied. You can switch these individual things being multiplied. You could switch this being added first and that being added second or, you know, sine of x times one over x plus cosine x times ln x would be equivalent. 
However, it is very important that you make sure that you're doing the derivative of f times the original of g and the derivative of g times the original of f. It's not going to work if you do f times g or f prime times g prime or g times g, g prime or f times f prime. That's not going to work. So my point here is what's really simple and nice about the product rule is as long as you're making sure to figure out your f, your g, your f prime, your g prime, and then do this kind of cross multiplying where you do one original times the other derivative and then add up whatever you get, you're going to end up with the correct answer. And of course, a lot of times this can then be simplified in some way. And we can do that a little bit in these cases by putting sine of x times one over x instead as sine of x over x. But of course, simplifying doesn't actually change the value of the function. So these would both be correct answers for the derivative of this original function based on our use of the product rule. Well, I hope you found that video helpful and you'll have an easy time remembering how to use the product rule next time you have to do so. If you did find this video helpful, please be sure to hit that like button down below and hit that subscribe button too while you're down there and that bell icon so you're notified of all my new videos and together we'll keep crushing it all term long. Thanks and see you next time.